The unification movement or unificationism, also called the Unification Church UC, is a worldwide new religious movement. Its members are colloquially called Moonies. It was officially founded under the name Holy Spirit Association for the Unification of World Christianity in Seoul, South Korea, in 1954, by Sun Myung Moon, a Korean religious leader also known for his business ventures and engagement in social and political causes. In 1994 the HSA UWC was replaced by Moon with a new organization, the Family Federation for World Peace and Unification FFWPU. .The beliefs of the movement are based on Moon's book Divine Principle, which incorporates Christian teachings but differs on some points including its view of Jesus and its introduction of the concept of indemnity. Unification movement ceremonies include unique funeral and wedding ceremonies. The movement is a spiritually based movement of legally independent organizations, including business, educational, political, and other types of organizations. It has received strong criticism and has attracted numerous controversies, including that of being a dangerous cult. Its involvement in politics has also been criticized. Its beliefs have been criticized by both Jewish and Christian scholars. Topic. Terminology Muni is a colloquial term sometimes used to refer to members of the unification movement. This is derived from the name of the UC's founder Sun Myung Moon, and was first used in 1974 by the American media. Unification movement members have used the word Muni, including Moon himself, president of the Unification Theological Seminary David Kim, and Bo Hai Pak, Moon's aide and president of Little Angels Children's Folk Ballet of Korea. In the 1980s and 1990s the Unification Church of the United States undertook an extensive public relations campaign against the use of the word by the news media. In 1989 the Chicago Tribune was picketed after referring to members as Moonies. Minister and civil rights leader James Bevel handed out flyers at the protest which said, Are the Moonies our new niggers? On an October 6, 1994 broadcast of Nightline, host Ted Koppel stated, On last night's program, I used the term Moonies. This is a label which members of the Reverend Sun Myung Moon's Unification Church find demeaning and offensive, and I'd like to apologize for its use. In other contexts it is still sometimes used and not always considered pejorative. History Background and origins On February 25, 1920, Sun Myung Moon was born Moon Yang Myung in modern day Sang Sa Ri, Shang Si Li Diogen Mayan, Jongju Gun, North Pyongan Province, at a time when Korea was under Japanese rule. Moon's birthday was recorded as January 6 by the traditional lunar calendar, February 25, 1920, according to the Gregorian calendar. Around 1930 Moon's family, who followed traditional Confucianist beliefs, converted to Christianity and joined the Presbyterian Church, where he later taught Sunday school. Unification Church members believe that Jesus appeared to Moon Yang Myung his birth name on Easter Day in 1936, and asked him to accomplish the work left unfinished after his crucifixion. After a period of prayer and consideration, Moon accepted the mission, later changing his name to Moon Sun Myung, Moon Sun Myung or Sun Myung Moon. In November 1943, Moon married Sun Kil Choi. In 1943, Hak Ya Han, Moon's future wife, was born in North Korea. After World War II and the Japanese occupation ended in 1945, Moon began preaching his message. In 1946, Moon traveled alone to Pyongyang in communist-ruled North Korea. Moon was arrested on allegations of spying for South Korea and given a five year sentence to the Hungnam labor camp. In 1950, after serving 34 months of his sentence, Moon was released from North Korea during the Korean War when United Nations troops advanced on the camp and the guards fled. In 1953, Moon divorced Choi. It is also reported that he had a child with a different woman in 1954. Moon's teachings, called The Divine Principle, were first published as Wanli Wanban. Wanliwanban original text of the divine principle in 1945 the earliest manuscript was lost in north korea during the korean war a second expanded version wanli hesol wanli hazal or explanation of the divine principle was published in 1957 
Its most propagated text, Exposition of the Divine Principle, was published in 1966. Moon built his first church as a refugee in Pusan. Topic: <laughs> Holy Spirit Association for the Unification of World Christianity, 1954 to 1994. Moon founded the Holy Spirit Association for the Unification of World Christianity in Seoul on May 1, 1954. It expanded rapidly in South Korea and by the end of 1955 had 30 centers throughout the nation. The HSAUWC expanded throughout the world with most members living in South Korea, Japan, the Philippines, and other nations in East Asia. In 1958, Moon sent missionaries to Japan, and in 1959, to America. Missionary work took place in Washington, D.C., New York, and California. It found success in the San Francisco Bay Area, where the HSAUWC expanded in Oakland, Berkeley, and San Francisco. By 1971, the HSAUWC in the U.S. had about 500 members. By 1973, it had some presence in all 50 states and a few thousand members. In the 1970s, American HSAUWC members were noted for their enthusiasm and dedication, which often included raising money for UC projects on so-called mobile fundraising teams. The HSAUWC also sent missionaries to Europe. They entered Czechoslovakia in 1968 and remained underground until the 1990s. Unification movement activity in South America began in the 1970s with missionary work. Later, the HSAUWC made large investments in civic organizations and business projects, including an international newspaper. Starting in the 1990s, the HSAUWC expanded in Russia and other former communist nations. Hak Ya Han, Moon's wife, made a radio broadcast to the nation from the State Kremlin Palace. As of 1994, the HSAUWC had about 5,000 members in Russia. About 500 Russian students had been sent to USA to participate in 40 day workshops. Moon moved to the United States in 1971, although he remained a citizen of the Republic of Korea. In the 1970s, he gave a series of public speeches in the United States, including one in Madison Square Garden in New York City in 1974, two in 1976 in Yankee Stadium in New York City, and one on the grounds of the Washington Monument in Washington, D.C., where he spoke on God's Hope for America to 300,000 people. In 1975, the HSAUWC held one of the largest peaceful gatherings in history, with 1.2 million people in Yeouido, South Korea, with a tenfold increase in membership. During the years 1972-74, the Unification Church emerged as a national movement in America. The movement held in New York the first of a series of conferences on unified science. With such famous scholars as Nicholas Curdy and W. V. O. Quine, bought the Belvedere Estate at Terrytown, N.Y. and held there an international training session for disaffected students attracted from overseas, including John Waite who later broadcast on BBC Radio his memories of the event, assisted by an organization called the Freedom Leadership Foundation Rev. Moon was introduced in 1973 to such American public figures as Senators Edward Kennedy, Hubert Humphrey, Strom Thurmond and James Buckley, and to Nguyen Van Thu, President of South Vietnam. More publicity attended mass weddings blessing ceremony of the Unification Church first conducted in the USA in 1982. Participants later included Al Sharpton and Emmanuel Malingo, an Archbishop of the Catholic Church. In the 1970s the unification movement, along with some other new religious movements, became a target of the anti-cult movement. On the basis of theories that have not gained acceptance in mainline social science, anti-cult activists accused the movement of having brainwashed its members. At the same time, members reported that they were kidnapped and forcibly deprogrammed. By those who wanted to pull them out of the movement, in 1982, Moon was convicted in the United States of filing false federal income tax returns and conspiracy, see United States v. Sun Myung Moon. He served 13 months of the sentence at the Federal Correctional Institution, Danbury. 
The case was protested as a case of selective prosecution and a threat to religious freedom by, among others, Jerry Falwell, head of Moral Majority, Joseph Lowry, head of the Southern Christian Leadership Conference, Harvey Cox a professor of divinity at Harvard, and Eugene McCarthy, United States Senator and former Democratic Party presidential candidate. Starting in the 1980s Moon instructed HSA UWC members to take part in a program called Home Church in which they reached out to neighbors and community members through public service. In 1991 Moon announced that UM members should return to their hometowns and undertake apostolic work there. Massimo Intervene, a scholar of new religious movements, said that this confirmed that full-time membership is no longer considered crucial to movement members. Topic. Family Federation for World Peace and Unification 1994. On May 1, 1994, the 40th anniversary of the founding of the HSA UWC, Moon declared that the era of the HSA UWC had ended and inaugurated a new organization, the Family Federation for World Peace and Unification FFWPU would include HSA UWC members and members of other religious organizations working toward common goals, especially on issues of sexual morality and reconciliation between people of different religions, nations, and races. The FFWPU co-sponsored blessing ceremonies in which thousands of couples from other churches and religions were given the marriage blessing previously given only to HSA UWC members. In 2000, the FFWPU co-sponsored the Million Family March, a rally in Washington D.C. to celebrate family unity and racial and religious harmony, along with the Nation of Islam. Louis Farrakhan was the main speaker at the event, which was held on October 16, 2000, the fifth anniversary of the Million Man March which was also organized by Farrakhan. FFWPU leader Dan Pfefferman wrote to his colleagues acknowledging that Farrakhan's and Moon's views differed on multiple issues but shared a view of a God-centered family. In 2003, Korean FFWPU members started a political party in South Korea, the Party for God, Peace, Unification, and Home. An inauguration declaration stated the new party would focus on preparing for Korean reunification by educating the public about God and peace. A FFWPU official said that similar political parties would be started in Japan and the United States. Since 2003, the FFWPU-related Universal Peace Federation's Middle East Peace Initiative has been organizing group tours of Israel and Palestine to promote understanding, respect, and reconciliation among Jews, Muslims, and Christians. In 2004, at a ceremony on March 23 in the Dirksen Senate Office Building, in Washington, D.C., Moon crowned himself with what was called the Crown of Peace. Lawmakers who attended included Senator Mark Dayton D. Min, Representatives Roscoe Bartlett RMD, and Elijah Cummings DMD, as well as former Representative Walter Fontroy DDC. Key organizers of the event included George Augustus Stallings Jr., a former Roman Catholic priest who had been married by Moon, and Michael Jenkins, the president of the Unification Church of the United States at that time. Representative Danny K. Davis played an active role in the ceremony. On August 15, 2012, Moon was reported to be gravely ill and was put on a respirator at the intensive care unit of St. Mary's Hospital at the Catholic University of Korea in Seoul. He was admitted on August 14, 2012, after suffering from pneumonia earlier in the month. He died there on September 2. The future of the unification movement and its theological and institutional legacy is uncertain. Topic. Beliefs The unification movement is among the minority of new religious movements who have introduced their own unique religious texts. The Divine Principle or Exposition of the Divine Principle is the main theological textbook of the movement. It was co-written by Moon and early disciple Hyo Waneu and first published in 1966. A translation entitled Divine Principle was published in English in 1973. The Divine Principle lays out the core of UC theology, and is held by its believers to have the status of Holy Scripture. Following the format of systematic theology, it includes 1. God's purpose in creating human beings, 2. The fall of man, and 3. Restoration, the process through history by which God is working to remove the ill effects of the fall and restore humanity back to the relationship and position that God originally intended. 
View of Jesus Jesus has a great importance in the teachings of the unification movement, although its view of him differs from that of Nicene Christianity. Central to unification teachings is the concept that fallen humanity can be restored to God only through Jesus the Messiah, who comes as a new Adam to become the new head of the human race, replacing the sinful parents, through whom mankind can be reborn into God's family. According to the divine principle, Jesus of Nazareth is this Christ. In 1980, unification theologian Young Oon Kim wrote Unification theology teaches that Jesus came to establish the kingdom of heaven on earth. As St. Paul wrote, Jesus was to be the new Adam restoring the lost Garden of Eden. For this purpose he chose twelve apostles, symbolizing the original twelve tribes of Israel, and sent out seventy disciples, symbolizing all the nations of the world. Like John the Baptist, Jesus proclaimed that the long-awaited kingdom of heaven was at hand Matt. 4 Jesus was appointed God's earthly representative in order to subjugate Satan, cleanse men of original sin and free them from the power of evil. Christ's mission involved liberation from sin and raising mankind to the perfection stage. His purpose was to bring about the kingdom of heaven in our world with the help of men filled with divine truth and love. Jesus' goal was to restore the Garden of Eden, a place of joy and beauty in which true families of perfected parents would dwell with God in a full relationship of reciprocal love. The unification movement view of Jesus has been criticized by mainstream Christian authors and theologians. In their influential book The Kingdom of the Cults first published in 1965, Walter Ralston Martin and Ravi K. Zacharias disagreed with the divine principle on the issues of the divinity of Christ, the virgin birth of Jesus, the unification church's belief that Jesus should have married and a literal resurrection of Jesus as well as a literal second coming. They add, Moon makes all men equal in divinity to Jesus, thereby striking a blow at the uniqueness of Christ. The divine principle responds to this criticism by saying, There is no greater value than that of a person who has realized the ideal of creation. This is the value of Jesus, who surely attained the highest imaginable value. The conventional Christian belief in Jesus' divinity is well-founded because, as a perfect human being, Jesus is totally one with God. To assert that Jesus is none other than a man who has completed the purpose of creation does not degrade the value of Jesus in the least. Unificationist theologian Young Oon Kim wrote and some members of the unification movement believe that Zechariah was the father of Jesus based on the work of, English Christian theologian in the liberal Protestant tradition, Leslie Weatherhead. Indemnity Indemnity, in the context of unification theology, is a part of the process by which human beings and the world are restored to God's ideal. The concept of indemnity is explained at the start of the second half of the divine principle, Introduction to Restoration. What, then, is the meaning of restoration through indemnity? When someone has lost his original position or state, he must make some condition to be restored to it. The making of such conditions of restitution is called indemnity. God's work to restore people to their true, unfallen state by having them fulfill indemnity conditions is called the providence of restoration through indemnity. The divine principle goes on to explain three types of indemnity conditions. Equal conditions of indemnity pay back the full value of what was lost. The biblical verse, Life for life, eye for eye, tooth for tooth, Exod 21:23-24 is quoted as an example of an equal indemnity condition. Lesser conditions of indemnity provide a benefit greater than the price that is paid. Faith, baptism, and the Eucharist are mentioned as examples of lesser indemnity conditions. Greater conditions of indemnity come about when a person fails in a lesser condition. In that case a greater price must be paid to make up for the earlier failure. Abraham's attempted sacrifice of his son Isaac Gen. 22 and the Israelites' forty years of wandering in the wilderness under Moses Num. 1434 are mentioned as examples of greater indemnity conditions. The divine principle then explains that an indemnity condition must reverse the course by which the mistake or loss came about. Indemnity, at its core, is required of humans because God is pure, and purity cannot relate directly with impurity. Indemnification is the vehicle that allows a just and righteous God to work through mankind. Jesus' statement that God had forsaken him Matt, 27 and Christianity's history of martyrdom are mentioned as examples of this. 
The divine principle then states that human beings, not God or the angels, are the ones responsible for making indemnity conditions. In 2005, scholars Dasek and Ashcraft explained the concept of indemnity. To restart the process toward perfection, God has sent messiahs to earth who could restore the true state of humanity's relationship with God. Before that can happen, however, humans must perform good deeds that cancel the bad effects of sin. Unificationists call this indemnity. Showing love and devotion to one's fellow humans, especially within families, helps pay this indemnity. Other Christian commentators have criticized the concept of indemnity as being contrary to the Christian doctrine of sola fide. Radio and television evangelist Bob Larson said, Moon's doctrine of sinless perfection by indemnity, which can apply even to deceased ancestors, is a denial of the salvation by grace offering through Jesus Christ. Christian historian Ruth Tucker said, In simple language, indemnity is salvation by works. Donald Tingle and Richard Fordyce, ministers with the Christian Church Disciples of Christ who debated two Unification Church theologians in 1977, wrote, In short, indemnity is anything you want to make it, since you establish the conditions. The zeal and enthusiasm of the Unification Church members is not so much based on love for God as it is compulsion to indemnify one's own sins. Science. The relationship of the unification movement and science has often been noted, by the news media and by scholars of religion. The divine principle calls for the unification of science and religion. Religion and science, each in their own spheres, have been the methods of searching for truth in order to conquer ignorance and attain knowledge. Eventually, the way of religion and the way of science should be integrated and their problems resolved in one united undertaking. The two aspects of truth, internal and external, should develop in full consonance. In the 1970s and 1980s, the unification movement sponsored the International Conference on the Unity of the Sciences (ICUS) in order to promote the concept of the unity of science and religion. American news media have suggested that the conferences were also an attempt to improve the often controversial public image of the church. The first conference, held in 1972, had 20 participants, while the largest conference, in Seoul, South Korea in 1982, had 808 participants from over 100 countries. Participants in one or more of the conferences included Nobel laureates John Eccles Physiology or Medicine 1963, who chaired the 1976 conference and Eugene Wigner Physics 1963. .The relationship of the unification movement and science again came to public attention in 2002 with the publication of Icons of Evolution, a popular book critical of the teaching of evolution written by member Jonathan Wells. Wells is a graduate of the Unification Theological Seminary and has been active with the Discovery Institute as an advocate for intelligent design. Topic: <laughs> Funerals. A unification funeral or sungwa is a funeral ceremony for the purpose of aiding the deceased person's transition to the spirit world and to celebrate his or her life among family and friends. Topic: Theological basis Unification movement scholars writing on the Church's funeral customs cite the divine principle which says, "...man, upon his death, after his life in the visible world, goes to the invisible world in a spiritual body, having taken off his clothes of flesh Job 10 and lives there forever." They also note that family and other human relationships continue after death. The unification movement does not uphold belief in reincarnation or eternal damnation. Unification theologian Young Oon Kim writes, You and I are going to live forever. What does immortality signify? We are thinking animals and loving creatures. Those two faculties show our kinship to the eternal God. They make us part of the infinite spirit world. We will think and we will love forever. Thus, our wisdom will continually grow and our love can be enriched more and more. This is what Swedenborg taught. There will be no sharp break between life here and life hereafter. What we start here continues in quality and expands infinitely. The ever-living God creates each of us to have fellowship with him forever. Topic. Funeral ceremony 
The Sunghwa ceremony was introduced by Sun Myung Moon in 1984, at the time of the death of his son Hung Jin Moon. Members who had died prior to this were given traditional Christian funerals. When the new and more distinct format was ordained, the official church newspaper reported, the use of the Chinese character meaning Sung Hua is new and unique to this ceremony and is not commonly used. The character for Sung means ascending, elevation. The character Hua has meanings of harmony and peace. The use of Sung Hua was first instructed by father at this time. The ceremony itself consists of three parts: the GWI Wan ceremony or returning to joy. A farewell prayer service held by family members and close friends, the Sung Hua Ceremony, or Ascension and Harmony, a public ceremony celebrating the person's life featuring songs, testimonies, and an address most often by a church pastor, and the One June Ceremony, or Returning Home, to the Palace, the burial service. It is emphasized that the ceremony should have a joyful atmosphere since it is a celebration of the person's life and his or her transition to the spirit world. White and light colored clothing, rather than the traditional black, is worn by participants. The body is buried in the person's holy robe, with a copy of the divine principle, and the coffin draped with the unification flag. Cremation is discouraged in the unification movement, although it is sometimes practiced, especially in Japan where it is required by law. Unification cemeteries, or sections of existing facilities, have been established in South Korea, the United Kingdom, and the United States. Topic. Blessing ceremony and views on sex and family The unification movement is well known for its wedding or wedding vow renewal ceremony. It is given to engaged or married couples. Through it, members believe, the couple is removed from the lineage of sinful humanity and engrafted into God's sinless lineage. The blessing ceremony was first held in 1961 for 36 couples in Seoul, South Korea by the Moons shortly after their own marriage in 1960. All the couples were members of the church. Reverend Moon matched all of the couples except 12 who were already married to each other before joining the church. Moon's practice of matching couples was very unusual in both Christian tradition and in modern Western culture and attracted much attention and controversy. Later blessing ceremonies were larger in scale but followed the same pattern. All participants were HSA UWC members and Moon matched most of the couples. In 1982 the first large-scale blessing of 2,000 couples outside of Korea took place in Madison Square Garden, New York City. In 1988, Moon matched 2,500 Korean members with Japanese members for a blessing ceremony held in Korea, partly in order to promote unity between the two nations. In 1992 Sunday Myung Moon gave the wedding blessing for 30,000 couples at the Seoul Olympic Stadium and for 13,000 at the Yankee Stadium. Mary Farrell Bednarowski says that marriage is really the only sacrament in the unification movement. Unificationists therefore view singleness as not a state to be sought or cultivated, but as preparation for marriage. Premarital celibacy and marital faithfulness are emphasized. Adherents may be taught to abstain from intimate relations for a specified time after marriage. The church does not give its marriage blessing to same-sex couples. Moon has emphasized the similarity between unification views of sexuality and evangelical Christianity. Reaching out to conservative Christians in this country in the last few years by emphasizing shared goals like support for sexual abstinence outside of marriage, and opposition to homosexuality. <laughs> Esotericism The unification movement is sometimes said to be esoteric in that it kept some of its doctrines secret from non members, a practice that is sometimes called heavenly deception. In 1979, critics Tingle and Fordyce commented, how different the openness of Christianity is to the attitude of Reverend Moon and his followers who are often reluctant to reveal to the public many of their basic doctrines. Since the 1990s, many unification texts that were formerly regarded as esoteric have been posted on the Family Federation for World Peace and Unification's official websites. Scholarly studies 
In the early 1960s John Laughlin lived with HSAUWC missionary Young Oon Kim and a small group of American members and studied their activities in trying to promote their beliefs and win new members. Laughlin noted that most of their efforts were ineffective and that most of the people who joined did so because of personal relationships with other members, often family relationships. Laughlin published his findings in 1964 as a doctoral thesis entitled the World Savers, A Field Study of Cult Processes", and in 1966 in book form by Prentice Hall as Doomsday Cult, A Study of Conversion, Proselytization, and Maintenance of Faith. In 1977 Frederick Sontag, a professor of philosophy at Pomona College and a minister in the United Church of Christ, spent ten months visiting HSA UWC members in North America, Europe, and Asia as well as interviewing Moon at his home in New York State. He reported his findings and observations in Sun Myung Moon and the Unification Church, published by Abingdon Press. The book also provides an overview of Unification Church beliefs. In an interview with UPI Sontag compared the HSA UWC with the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints and said that he expected its practices to conform more to mainstream American society as its members become more mature. He added that he did not want to be considered an apologist but a close look at HSA UWC's theology is important. They raise some incredibly interesting issues. In 1984 Eileen Barker published The Making of a Mooney based on her seven-year study of HSA UWC members in the United Kingdom and the United States. In 2006 Lawrence Yannacone of George Mason University, a specialist in the economics of religion, wrote that The Making of a Mooney was one of the most comprehensive and influential studies of the process of conversion to new religious movements. Australian psychologist Len Oakes and British psychiatry professor Anthony Storr, who have written rather critically about cults, gurus, new religious movements, and their leaders have praised the making of Amuni. It was given the Distinguished Book Award for 1985 by the Society for the Scientific Study of Religion. In 1987, scholars with American Psychological Association rejected the hypotheses of those who accused new religious movements, such as the HSA UWC, of brainwashing and coercive persuasion, stating that those conclusions cannot be said to be scientific in any meaningful sense. In 1998 Irving Lewis Horowitz, sociologist, questioned the relationship between the HSA UWC and scholars whom it paid to conduct research on its behalf. <laughs> Relations and differences with other religions <laughs> <laughs> Judaism The relationship between the unification movement and Judaism has been marked by controversy. In 1976 the American Jewish Committee released a report by Rabbi A. James Rudin which stated that divine principle contained "...pejorative language, stereotyped imagery, and accusations of collective sin and guilt." In a news conference presented by the AJC and representatives of Catholic and Protestant churches, panelists stated that the text "...contained over 125 anti-Jewish references." They noted Moon's public then recent condemnation of anti-Semitic and anti-Christian attitudes," and called upon him to make a "...comprehensive and systematic removal," of anti-Semitic and anti-Christian references in the Divine Principle as a demonstration of good faith. In 1977 the HSA UWC issued a rebuttal to the report, stating that it was neither comprehensive nor reconciliatory, but rather had a "...hateful tone," and was filled with "...sweeping denunciations." It denied that the divine principle teaches anti-Semitism and gave detailed responses to 17 specific allegations contained in the AJC's report, stating that allegations were distortions of teaching and obscuration of real passage content or that the passages were accurate summaries of Jewish scripture or New Testament passages. In 1984, Mose Durst, then the president of the Unification Church of the United States and himself a convert from Judaism, said that the Jewish community had been hateful in its response to the growth of the unification movement, and placed blame both on the community's insecurity and on unification church members' youthful zeal and ignorance. Rudin, then the National Interreligious Affairs Director of the American Jewish Committee, said that Durst's remarks were inaccurate and unfair and that hateful is a harsh word to use. In the same year Durst wrote in his autobiography, Our relations with the Jewish community have been the most painful to me personally. 
I say this with a heavy heart, since I was raised in the Jewish faith and am proud of my heritage." In 1989 movement leaders Peter Ross and Andrew Wilson issued, "...guidelines for members of the Unification Church in relations with the Jewish people," which stated, "...in the past there have been serious misunderstandings between Judaism and the Unification Church." In order to clarify these difficulties and guide Unification Church members in their relations with Jews, the Unification Church suggests the following guidelines. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Mainstream Christianity. The relationship between the unification movement and mainstream Christianity has been marked by conflict and disagreement, as well as by cooperation at times. The movement's teachings are based on the Bible, but include new interpretations not found in mainstream Christian tradition. Mainstream Christianity is usually defined as those Christian churches which follow the Nicene Creed and includes the Roman Catholic, Eastern Orthodox, and most Protestant churches. From its beginning, the unification movement has claimed to be Christian and has tried to promote its teachings to mainstream Christian churches and organizations. The Unification Church in South Korea was labeled as heretical by Protestant churches in South Korea, including Moon's own Presbyterian Church. In the United States the church was rejected by ecumenical organizations as being non-Christian. The main objections against it were theological, especially because of the Unification Church's addition of material to the Bible and for its rejection of a literal second coming of Jesus. Protestant commentators have also criticized Unification Church teachings as being contrary to the Protestant doctrine of salvation by faith alone. The divine principle includes new interpretations of the Bible not found in mainstream Christian traditions. From its beginning, the Unification movement claimed to be Christian and promoted its teachings to mainstream Christian churches and organizations. The HSA UWC in Korea was labeled as heretical by Protestant churches in South Korea, including Moon's own Presbyterian Church. In the United States, the movement was rejected by ecumenical organizations as being non-Christian. The main objections were theological, especially because of the movement's addition of material to the Bible. Protestant Christian commentators have also criticized unification teachings as contrary to the Protestant doctrine of sola fide. In their influential book The Kingdom of the Cults first published in 1965, Walter Ralston Martin and Ravi K. Zacharias disagreed with the divine principle on the issues of Christology, the virgin birth of Jesus, the movement's belief that Jesus should have married, the necessity of the crucifixion of Jesus, and a literal resurrection of Jesus as well as a literal second coming. In 1974 Moon founded the Unification Theological Seminary, in Barrytown, New York, partly in order to improve relations of the movement with other churches. Churches. Professors from other denominations, including a Methodist minister, a Presbyterian, and a Roman Catholic priest, as well as a rabbi, were hired to teach religious studies to the students, who were being trained as leaders in the movement. In 1977, Unification member Jonathan Wells, who later became well known as the author of the popular intelligent design book Icons of Evolution, defended Unification theology against what he said were unfair criticisms by the National Council of Churches. That same year Frederick Sontag, a professor of philosophy at Pomona College and a minister in the United Church of Christ, published Sun Myung Moon and the Unification Church which gave an overview of the movement and urged Christians to take it more seriously. In 1982, Moon was imprisoned in the United States after being found guilty by a jury of willfully filing false federal income tax returns and conspiracy. See, United States vs. Sun Myung Moon HSA UWC members launched a public relations campaign. Booklets, letters and videotapes were mailed to approximately 300,000 Christian leaders in the United States. Many of them signed petitions protesting the government's case. Among the American Christian leaders who spoke out in defense of Moon were conservative Jerry Falwell, head of Moral Majority, and liberal Joseph Lowry, head of the Southern Christian Leadership Conference. The American Baptist Churches in the USA, the National Council of Churches, the National Black Catholic Clergy Caucus, and the Southern Christian Leadership Conference filed briefs in support of Moon. In the 1980s, the unification movement sent thousands of American ministers from other churches on trips to Japan and South Korea to inform them about unification teachings. At least one minister was dismissed by his congregation for taking part. In 1994 the church had about 5,000 members in Russia and came under criticism from the Russian Orthodox Church. 
In 1997, the Russian government passed a law requiring the movement and other non Russian religions to register their congregations and submit to tight controls. In 1995, the unification movement related organization the Women's Federation for World Peace indirectly contributed $3.5 million to help Baptist Liberty University, which at that time was in financial difficulty. This was reported in the United States news media as an example of closer relationships between the movement and conservative Christian congregations. In 2001, the unification movement came into conflict with the Roman Catholic Church when Catholic Archbishop Emmanuel Malingo and Maria Sung, a 43-year-old Korean acupuncturist, married in a blessing ceremony, presided over by Rev. and Mrs. Moon. Following his marriage the Archbishop was called to the Vatican by Pope John Paul II, where he was asked not to see his wife anymore, and to move to a Capuchin monastery. Sung went on a hunger strike to protest their separation. This attracted much media attention. Malingo is now an advocate of the removal of the requirement for celibacy by priests in the Catholic Church. He is the founder of Married Priests Now. Archbishop George Augustus Stallings Jr., also a former Catholic priest, who had founded his own Amani Temple African American Catholic Congregation, is also a supporter of the organization. In 2003, Moon began his Tear Down or Take Down the Cross campaign. The campaign was begun in the belief that the cross is a reminder of Jesus' pain and has been a source of division between people of different faiths. The campaign included a burial ceremony for the cross and a crown to be put in its place. The American Clergy Leadership Conference ACLC, an interfaith group founded by Moon, spearheaded the effort, calling the cross a symbol of oppression and superiority. <laughs> Islam The relationship between the unification movement and Islam has often been noted, both by scholars and the news media. The Divine Principle lists the Muslim world as one of the world's four major divisions the others being East Asia, Hindu, and Christendom. In 1997, Louis Farrakhan, the leader of the Nation of Islam, a black Muslim organization, served as a co-officiator at a blessing ceremony presided over by Moon and Han. In 2000 the Church and the Nation of Islam co-sponsored the Million Family March, a rally in Washington, D.C., to celebrate family unity and racial and religious harmony. Unification movement support for Islamist anti-communists came to public attention in 1987 when church member Lee Shapiro was killed in Afghanistan during the Soviet-Afghan War while filming a documentary. The resistance group they were traveling with reported that they had been ambushed by military forces of the Soviet Union or the Afghan government. However, the details have been questioned, partly because of the poor reputation of the group's leader, Gubuddin Hekmatyar. In 1997, the Washington Report on Middle East Affairs, which is critical of United States and Israeli policies, praised the unification movement owned newspaper, The Washington Times, and The Times' sister publication, The Middle East Times, along with the Christian Science Monitor owned by The Church of Christ, Scientist, for their objective and informative coverage of Islam and the Middle East, while criticizing The Times generally pro Israel editorial policy. The report suggested that these newspapers, being owned by religious organizations, were less influenced by pro-Israel pressure groups in the United States. In 1997, Louis Farrakhan, the leader of the Nation of Islam, served as a co-officiator at a blessing ceremony presided over by Sun Myung Moon and Hak Ya Han. In 2000 the FFWPU co-sponsored the Million Family March, a rally in Washington, D.C. to celebrate family unity and racial and religious harmony, along with the Nation of Islam. Farrakhan was the main speaker at the event which was held on October 16, 2000, the fifth anniversary of the Million Man March, which was also organized by Farrakhan. Unification Church leader Dan Pfefferman wrote to his colleagues acknowledging that Farrakhan's and Moon's views differed on multiple issues but shared a view of a God-centered family. In 2007 Rev and Mrs. Moon sent greetings to Farrakhan while he was recovering from cancer, saying, We send love and greetings to Minister Farrakhan and Mother Khadija. In the 1990s and 2000s the unification movement made public statements claiming communications with the spirits of religious leaders including Muhammad and also Confucius, the Buddha, Jesus, and Augustine, as well as political leaders such as Karl Marx, Friedrich Engels, Lenin, Joseph Stalin, Leon Trotsky, Mao Zedong, and many more. This was reported to have distanced the movement from Islam as well as from mainstream Christianity. 
From 2001 to 2009 the Unification Movement owned the American Life TV Network now known as U2 TV, which in 2007 broadcast George Clooney's documentary, A Journey to Darfur, which was harshly critical of Islamists in Darfur, the Republic of Sudan. It released the film on DVD in 2008 and announced that proceeds from its sale would be donated to the International Rescue Committee. In his 2009 autobiography Moon praised Islam and expressed the hope that there would be more understanding between different religious communities. In 2011 representatives of the Unification Church took part in an international seminar held in Taiwan by the Muslim World League. The purpose of the seminar was said to be to encourage interfaith dialogue and discourage terrorism. Topic. Interfaith activities In 2009 the FFWPU held an interfaith event in the Congress of the Republic of Peru. Former President of the Congress Marcial Iaipoma and other notable politicians were called Ambassadors for Peace of the Unification Church. In 2010, the Church built a large interfaith temple in Seoul. Author Deepak Chopra was the keynote at an interfaith event of the Unification Church co-hosted with the United Nations at the headquarters of the United Nations. In 2011, an interfaith event was held in the National Assembly of Thailand. The President of the National Assembly of Thailand attended the event. In 2012, the Unification Church affiliated Universal Peace Federation held an interfaith dialogue in Italy that was co sponsored by United Nations. That year, Unification Movement affiliated Universal Peace Federation held an interfaith program for representatives of 12 various religions and confessions in the Hall of the United Nations General Assembly. The President of the United Nations General Assembly, the Deputy Secretary General of the United Nations, the Permanent Observer of the Holy See to the United Nations and other UN officials spoke. Topic. Political activism In the 1940s, Moon cooperated with Communist Party members in the Korean independence movement against Imperial Japan. However, after the Korean War 1950 he became an outspoken anti-communist. In 1964, he founded the Korean Culture and Freedom Foundation, a public diplomacy agency which promoted the interests of South Korea and sponsored Radio Free Asia. Former U.S. Presidents Harry S. Truman, Dwight D. Eisenhower, and Richard Nixon were honorary presidents or directors at various times. In 1972, Moon predicted the decline of communism, based on the teachings of the Divine Principle, after 7,000 biblical years 6,000 years of Restoration history plus the millennium, the time of completion communism will fall in its 70th year. Here is the meaning of the year 1978. Communism, begun in 1917, could maintain itself approximately 60 years and reach its peak. So 1978 is the border line and afterward communism will decline, in the 70th year it will be altogether ruined. This is true. Therefore, now is the time for people who are studying communism to abandon it. Quote, in 1973, he called for an automatic theocracy to replace communism and solve every political and economic situation in every field. In 1974, Moon asked members in the United States to support President Richard Nixon during the Watergate scandal when Nixon was being pressured to resign his office. They prayed and fasted in support of Nixon for three days in front of the United States Capitol, under the motto, Forgive, Love and Unite. On February 1, 1974, Nixon publicly thanked them for their support and officially received Moon. This brought the movement into widespread public and media attention. In 1976, Church President Neil Albert Salonen met with Senator Bob Dole to defend the HSA UWC against charges made by its critics, including parents of some members. In 1976, Moon established News World Communications, an international news media conglomerate which publishes The Washington Times newspaper in Washington, D.C., and newspapers in South Korea, Japan, and South America, partly in order to promote political political conservatism. According to the Washington Post, the Times was established by Moon to combat communism and be a conservative alternative to what he perceived as the liberal bias of the Washington Post. Bo Hai Pak, called Moon's right-hand man, 
was the founding president and the founding chairman of the board. Moon asked Richard L. Rubinstein, a controversial rabbi and college professor who had written on the Holocaust, to join its board of directors. The Washington Times has often been noted for its generally pro-Israel editorial policies. In 2002, during the 20th anniversary party for The Times, Moon said, the Washington Times will become the instrument in spreading the truth about God to the world. In 1977, the Subcommittee on International Organizations of the Committee on International Relations, of the United States House of Representatives, found that the South Korean intelligence agency, the KCIA, had used the movement to gain political influence with the United States and that some members had worked as volunteers in congressional offices. Together they founded the Korean Cultural Freedom Foundation, a non-profit organization which acted as a public diplomacy campaign for the Republic of Korea. The committee also investigated possible KCIA influence on the Unification Church's campaign in support of Nixon. In 1980, members founded CAUSA International, an anti-communist educational organization based in New York City. In the 1980s, it was active in 21 countries. In the United States, it sponsored educational conferences for evangelical and fundamentalist Christian leaders as well as seminars and conferences for Senate staffers, Hispanic Americans and conservative activists. In 1986, CAUSA International sponsored the documentary film Nicaragua Was Our Home, about the Mosquito Indians of Nicaragua and their persecution at the hands of the Nicaraguan government. It was filmed and produced by USA UWC member Lee Shapiro, who later died while filming with anti Soviet forces during the Soviet Afghan War. In 1980, members in Washington, D.C. disrupted a protest rally against the United States military draft. In 1981, the Appellate Division of New York State Supreme Court ruled that the HSA UWC was not entitled to property tax exemptions on its New York City properties since its primary purpose was political, not religious. In 1982, this ruling was overturned by the New York State Supreme Court itself, which ruled that it should be considered a religious organization for tax purposes. In 1983, some American members joined a public protest against the Soviet Union over its shooting down of Korean Airlines Flight 007. In 1984, the HSA UWC founded the Washington Institute for Values in Public Policy, a Washington, D.C. think tank that underwrites conservative oriented research and seminars at Stanford University, the University of Chicago, and other institutions. In the same year, member Dan Pfefferman founded the International Coalition for Religious Freedom in Virginia, which is active in protesting what it considers to be threats to religious freedom by governmental agencies. In August 1985, seven years before the fall of Soviet Union, the Professor's World Peace Academy, an organization founded by Moon, sponsored a conference in Geneva to debate the theme, The Situation in the World After the Fall of the Communist Empire. In April 1990, Moon visited the Soviet Union and met with President Mikhail Gorbachev. Moon expressed support for the political and economic transformations underway in the Soviet Union. At the same time, the movement was expanding into formerly communist nations. In 1991, he met with Kim Il-sung, the North Korean president, to discuss ways to achieve peace on the Korean peninsula, as well as on international relations, tourism, and other topics. In 1994, Moon was officially invited to the funeral of Kim Il-sung, in spite of the absence of diplomatic relations between North Korea and South Korea. In 1994, the New York Times recognized the movement's political influence, saying it was a theocratic powerhouse that is pouring foreign fortunes into conservative causes in the United States. In 1998, the Egyptian newspaper Al Aram criticized Moon's ultra-right leanings and suggested a personal relationship with conservative Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. In 1995, the former U.S. President George H. W. Bush and his wife, Barbara Bush, spoke at a FFWPU event in the Tokyo Dome. If as president I could have done one thing to have helped the country more. Mr. Bush told the gathering. It would have been to do a better job in finding a way, either through speaking out or through raising a moral standard, to strengthen the American family. Hak Ya Han, the main speaker, credited her husband with bringing about communism's fall and declared that he must save America from the destruction of the family and moral decay. 
In 2000, Moon founded the World Association of Non-Governmental Organizations Wango, which describes itself as a global organization whose mission is to serve its member organizations, strengthen and encourage the non-governmental sector as a whole, increase public understanding of the non-governmental community, and provide the mechanism and support needed for NGOs to connect, partner, and multiply their contributions to solve humanity's basic problems. However, it has been criticized for promoting conservatism in contrast to some of the ideals of the United Nations. In 2003, Korean FFWPU members started a political party in South Korea. It was named the Party for God, Peace, Unification, and Home. In an inauguration declaration, the new party said it would focus on preparing for the reunification of South and North Korea by educating the public about God and peace. A church official said that similar political parties would be started in Japan and the United States. Moon was a member of the Honorary Committee of the Unification Ministry of the Republic of Korea. The church member Jae Young Lee had been once a Unification Minister of the Republic of Korea. Another, Ek Nath Dokkal, is a member of the Nepalese Constituent Assembly, and a First Minister for Cooperatives and Poverty Alleviation Ministry of the Government of Nepal. In 2016, a study sponsored by the Unification Theological Seminary found that American members were divided in their choices in the 2016 United States presidential election, with the largest bloc supporting Senator Bernie Sanders. North Korea The unification movement has had a complex relationship with the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, North Korea. After the defeat of Japan in the Second World War in 1945, Korea was divided between Soviet and American occupation forces. In 1948, the Republic of Korea was established in the South and the Democratic People's Republic of Korea in the North, usually referred to as South Korea and North Korea. The government of North Korea followed Stalinist policies and sought to discourage free religious activities. In 1946, Moon was living in Pyongyang, the capital of North Korea. Pyongyang was the center of Christian activity in Korea until 1945. From the late 40s, 166 priests and other religious figures were killed or disappeared in concentration camps, including Francis Hong Yong Ho, Bishop of Pyongyang and all monks of Tokwan Abbey. No Catholic priest survived the persecution, all churches were destroyed and the government never allowed any foreign priest to set up in North Korea. Moon was arrested by the North Korean authorities on allegations of spying for South Korea and given a five-year sentence to the Hungnam labor camp. In 1950, during the Korean War, he escaped and fled to Pusan, South Korea. Moon's teachings were strongly anti communist and viewed the Cold War between democracy and communism as the final conflict between God and Satan, with divided Korea as its primary front line. Soon after its founding, the unification movement began supporting anti communist organizations, including the World League for Freedom and Democracy, founded in 1966 in Taipei, Republic of China, Taiwan, by Chiang Kai shek, and the Korean Culture and Freedom Foundation, an international public diplomacy organization which also sponsored Radio Free Asia. In 1975, Moon spoke at a government sponsored rally against potential North Korean military aggression on Yeouido Island in Seoul to an audience of around 1 million. In the late 1980s, when the Soviet Union was embarking on political and economic reform, it began demanding payment from North Korea for past and current aid amounts North Korea could not repay. With the dissolution of the Soviet Union in 1991, trade between the two countries ceased altogether and the North Korean economy collapsed. Without Soviet aid, the flow of inputs to the North Korea agricultural sector ended, and the government proved too inflexible to respond. As a result, food production decreased precipitously. By 1994, the North Korean famine was underway. Estimates of the death toll vary widely. Out of a total population of approximately 22 million, somewhere between 240,000 and 3,500,000 people died from starvation or hunger-related illnesses, with the deaths peaking in 1997. Initial assistance to North Korea started as early as 1990, with small-scale support from religious groups in South Korea and assistance from UNICEF. In August 1995, North Korea made an official request for humanitarian aid and the international community responded accordingly, including South Korea, the United States, Japan, and China. In 1991, Moon traveled to North Korea to meet with its president, Kim Il-sung. 
In 1992, Kim gave his first and only interview with the Western news media to Washington Times reporter Gisette Sheeran who later became executive director of the United Nations World Food Programme. In 1994, Moon was officially invited to Kim's funeral, in spite of the absence of diplomatic relations between North Korea and South Korea. In 1998, unification movement related businesses launched operations in North Korea with the approval of the government of South Korea, which had prohibited business relationships between North and South before. In 2000, the church associated business group Tongil Group founded Pyongwa Motors in the North Korean port of Nampo, in cooperation with the North Korean government. It was the first automobile factory in North Korea. During the presidency of George W. Bush, Dong Moon Ju, a unification movement member and then president of the Washington Times, undertook unofficial diplomatic missions to North Korea in an effort to improve its relationship with the United States. Ju was born in North Korea and is a citizen of the United States. In 2003, Korean unification movement members started a political party in South Korea. It was named the Party for God, Peace, Unification and Home. In its inauguration declaration, the new party said it would focus on preparing for Korean reunification by educating the public about God and peace. Moon was a member of the Honorary Committee of the Unification Ministry of the Republic of Korea. Church member Jae Young Lee was a Unification Minister of the Republic of Korea. In 2010, in Pyongyang, to mark the 20th anniversary of Moon's visit to Kim Il sung, de jure President Kim Yong nam hosted Moon's son Hung Jin Moon, then the president of the Unification Church, in his official residence. At that time, Hung Jin Moon donated 600 tons of flour to the children of Jongju, the birthplace of Sun Myung Moon. In 2012, Moon was posthumously awarded North Korea's National Reunification Prize. On the first anniversary of Moon's death, North Korean President Kim Jong un expressed condolences to Han and the family, saying, Kim Jong un prayed for the repose of Moon, who worked hard for national concord, prosperity, and reunification and world peace. In 2017, the Unification Church sponsored the International Association of Parliamentarians for Peace IAPP, headed by former Prime Minister of Nepal Madhav Kumar Nepal and former Minister of Peace and Reconstruction Ek Nath Dakal, visited Pyongyang and had constructive talks with the North Korean Workers' Party. Topic. Organizations Although Rev. Moon was commonly known as a religious figure. Commentators have mentioned his belief in a literal kingdom of God on earth to be brought about by human effort as a motivation for his establishment of multitudinous groups that are not strictly religious in their purposes. Moon was not directly involved with managing the day to day activities of the numerous organizations that he indirectly oversaw, yet, all of them attribute the inspiration behind their work to his leadership and teachings. Others have said that one purpose of these non-sectarian organizations is to pursue social respectability. These organizations have sometimes been labeled front groups, an expression which originally referred to Soviet-supported organizations during the Cold War. Topic: <laughs> Multifaceted organizations. Topic: <laughs> CARP The Collegiate Association for the Research of Principles CARP is a collegiate organization founded by Moon and his followers in 1955, which promotes intercultural, interracial, and international cooperation through the unification worldview. J. Isamu Yamamoto states in Unification Church, at times CARP has been very subtle about its association with the Unification Church, however, the link between the two has always been strong, since the purpose of both is to spread Moon's teachings. Topic. Family Peace Association The Family Peace Association, founded by Moon's eldest living son, Yun Jin Moon. It has the mission, to enlighten humanity by uplifting their spiritual consciousness through universal principles and values rooted in God-centered families. Its founders are Yun Jin Moon and Jun Suk Moon. Topic. Universal Peace Federation The Universal Peace Federation is an international organization which promotes religious freedom. Dialogue and Alliance is its journal published from Terrytown, New York. Topic. Women's Federation for World Peace 
The Women's Federation for World Peace was founded in 1992 by Hak Ya Han. Its stated purpose is to encourage women to work more actively in promoting peace in their communities and greater society. It has members in 143 countries. Han has traveled the world speaking at conventions on the WFWP's behalf. In 1993 the WFWP held a conference in Tokyo, Japan at which the keynote speaker was former U.S. Vice President Dan Quayle's wife Marilyn Tucker Quayle, and in a speech at the event Han spoke positively of Mrs. Quayle's humanitarian work. In 1993 Han traveled to 20 cities in the United States promoting the WFWP, as well as to 12 countries. At an event in Salt Lake City, Utah she told attendants. If a family is not centered on God's ideal of love, there will be conflict among the members of that family. Without God's love as an absolute center, such a family will ultimately break down. A nation of such families will also decline." Her 1993 speeches in the United States focused on increasing violence in the U.S., and the degradation of the family unit. In 1995, the WFWP generated controversy when it indirectly contributed $3.5 million to help Liberty University, which at that time was in financial difficulty. This was reported in the United States news media as an example of closer relationships between the Unification Church and conservative Christian congregations. That same year former United States President George H. W. Bush spoke at several WFWP meetings in Japan, and at a related conference in Washington, D.C. There he was quoted by the New York Times as saying, If as president I could have done one thing to have helped the country more it would have been to do a better job in finding a way, either through speaking out or through raising a moral standard, to strengthen the American family. The events in Japan drew protests from Japanese people who were wary of unorthodox religious groups. Bush's spokesperson Jane Becker stated, We were satisfied that there was not a connection with the Unification Church, and based on the information we were given we felt comfortable speaking to this group. 50,000 people attended Bush's speech in Tokyo. The theme of the talks was, Family Values. In the half-hour speech, Bush said, what really counts is faith, family and friends." Bush also spoke on the importance of the relationship between Japan and the United States and its importance for world peace. Han spoke after Bush's speech and praised Moon, crediting him for the decline of communism and saying that he must save America from the destruction of the family and moral decay. In 1999 the WFWP sponsored a conference in Malaysia in which religious and government leaders spoke on the need to strengthen education and support families, as well as the need for peace and understanding between ethnic and racial groups in the nations. In 2009 it co-sponsored, along with the Unification Church-affiliated organization the Universal Peace Federation and the Government of Taiwan, a conference in Taipei calling for Taiwan's greater participation in world affairs independent of the People's Republic of China. Taiwan's president, Ma ying Zhou, spoke at the event. The WFWP has also been active in sponsoring various local charity and community events. Service for Peace Service for Peace SFP is a non-profit organization, founded in 2002 by the Unification Church leader Sun Myung Moon, to give opportunities to young people who wish to better themselves and their communities. As of April 2007, the organization had established chapters in North America, Central America, Caribbean, Europe, Asia, Africa and Oceania. SFP is active in communities and statewide. Colleges have recruited Service for Peace Campus Corps to benefit their fellow peers as well as the communities around them. Some SFP chapters have smaller initiatives designed to meet local needs. In the USA, Service for Peace's Backpack Angel program supports students throughout Kentucky by providing backpacks and school supplies for children in need. Topic. International Conference on the Unity of the Sciences International Conference on the Unity of the Sciences ICUS, is a series of conferences formerly sponsored by the International Cultural Foundation and since 2017 by the Hyo Jung International Foundation on the Unity of the Sciences HJIFUS. 
The first conference, held in 1972, had 20 participants, while the largest conference, in Seoul, South Korea in 1982, had 808 participants from over 100 countries. Participants in one or more of the conferences included Nobel laureates John Eccles, Physiology or Medicine 1963, who chaired the 1976 conference, Eugene Wigner, Physics 1963, economist and political philosopher Friedrich Hayek, ecologist Kenneth Mellenby, Frederick Seitz, pioneer pioneer of solid-state physics, Ninian Smart, president of the American Academy of Religion, and Holocaust theologian Richard Rubinstein, Moon believed that religion alone can not save the world, and his particular belief in the importance of the unity of science and religion was reportedly a motivation for the founding of the ICUS. American news media have suggested that the conferences were also an attempt to improve the often controversial Unification Church's public image. The last two editions of the conference have focused on environmental issues, such as rising sea levels and water temperatures, food scarcity, renewable energy, and waste management. The theme in 2017, at ICUS 23, was, Earth's Environmental Crisis and the Role of Science with a similar theme following at ICUS 24, in 2018, "...scientific solutions to the Earth's environmental challenges". <laughs> Interfaith organizations The Assembly of the World's Religions was founded by Sun Myung Moon. The first assembly was held from November 15 to 21, 1985, in McAfee, New Jersey. The second was from August 15 to 21, 1990 in San Francisco. Inter-Religious Federation for World Peace American Clergy Leadership Conference ACLC. The Middle East Peace Initiative sponsors projects to promote peace and understanding including visits by international Christians to Israel and Palestine and dialogues between members of the Israeli Knesset and the Palestinian Legislative Council. Topic. Educational organizations Chongshim Graduate School of Theology Chongshim International Academy International Educational Foundation New World Encyclopedia — an Internet encyclopedia that, in part, selects and rewrites certain Wikipedia articles through a focus on unification values. It aims to organize and present human knowledge in ways consistent with our natural purposes," and to promote knowledge that leads to happiness, well-being, and world peace." Paragon House, Book Publishing The Professor's World Peace Academy was founded in 1973 by Sun Myung Moon, who declared the group's intent to contribute to the solutions of urgent problems facing our modern civilization and to help resolve the cultural divide between East and West." PWPA now has chapters in over 100 countries. Sun Hua Arts School Sun Moon University Sun Myung Moon Institute High School of the Pacific in Kealakekua, Hawaii the Unification Theological Seminary UTS is the main seminary of the international unification movement. It is located in Barrytown, New York, and with an extension center in Midtown Manhattan. Its purpose has been described as training leaders and theologians within the movement. The seminary's first classes were offered in September 1975. The institution's regional accreditation by the Middle States Commission on Higher Education first granted in 1996 was reaffirmed in 2016. While most of the UTS's students have been Unification Church members, a growing number come from diverse churches and faiths. The seminary's professors come from a wide range of faiths, including a rabbi, a sheikh, a Methodist minister, a Presbyterian, and a Roman Catholic priest. In 2003, the seminary had about 120 students from around the world, with most coming from South Korea and Japan, which have large numbers of Unification Church members. Blessed Teens Academy — Greeley, Colorado New Hope Academy — Landover Hills, Maryland, USA Although New Hope Academy was founded in 1990 by members of the Unification Movement, it is not a sectarian school. No doctrines are taught, in fact, no classes in religion are offered, however morning services are mandatory, during services discussions about religious doctrines, hymns, and group prayers all take place. We believe it is the job of parents, 
with the support of their church, temple, or mosque to impart their personal faith to their child. WUF, World University Federation. Several UC related groups are working to promote sexual abstinence until marriage and fidelity in marriage and to prevent child exploitation. They care for victims of Thailand's sex trade as well. In 1996, members of the Unification Church gathered 3,500 signatures in an anti pornography campaign. Topic. Organizations in the arts Kirov Academy of Ballet, Dance School in Washington, D.C. Korean Cultural Foundation Little Angels Children's Folk Ballet of Korea The Little Angels Children's Folk Ballet of Korea is a dance troupe founded in 1962 by Moon and other UC members to project a positive image of South Korea to the world. In 1973 they performed at the headquarters of the United Nations in New York City. The group's dances are based on Korean legends and regional dances, and its costumes on traditional Korean styles. Manhattan Center, Theater and Recording Studio in New York City. New York City Symphony One Way Productions, Movie Production Company the Universal Ballet, founded South Korea in 1984, is one of only four professional ballet companies in South Korea. The company performs a repertory that includes many full-length classical story ballets, together with shorter contemporary works and original full-length Korean ballets created especially for the company. It is supported by UC members with Moon's daughter-in-law Julia Moon, who was the company's prima ballerina until 2001, now serving as general director. Topic. Sports organizations Centro Esportivo Nova Esperanza, Clube Atletico Sorocaba, Brazilian football teams. Martial Arts Federation for World Peace Peace Cup International Football Soccer Tournament Sungnam Ilhwa Chunma, South Korean football team. The Sunmoon Peace Football Foundation founded by the UC in 2003 sponsors the Peace Cup, an invitational preseason friendly association football tournament for club teams, currently held every two years. It is contested by the eight clubs from several continents, though 12 teams participated in 2009. The first three competitions were held in South Korea, and the 2009 Peace Cup Andalusia was held in Madrid and Andalusia, Spain. In 1989, Moon founded Sungnam FC, a South Korean football team. Yongpyeong Ski Resort, which hosted the 2018 Winter Olympics. Topic: Political organizations. Freedom Leadership Foundation, an anti-communist organization in the United States active in the 1960s, 1970s, and 1980s. Peace United Family Party, a South Korean political party founded by the Sun Myung Moon, one of whose main goals is the reunification of Korea. The International Association of Parliamentarians for Peace IAPP works to promote peace and understanding between potentially hostile nations. Theconservatives.com, a former political website in partnership with the Heritage Foundation. The Summit Council for World Peace is an international group active in Moon's effort to unite North and South Korea. Coalition for a Free World, anti-Soviet group active in the 1980s. Washington Institute for Values in Public Policy CAUSA International is an anti-communist educational organization created in New York City in 1980 by members of the unification movement. In the 1980s it was active in 21 countries. In the United States it sponsored educational conferences for evangelical and fundamentalist Christian leaders as well as seminars and conferences for Senate staffers, Hispanic Americans and conservative activists. In 1986 it produced the anti-communist documentary film Nicaragua Was Our Home. The International Coalition for Religious Freedom is an activist organization based in Virginia, the United States. Its president is Dan Pfefferman, who has held several leadership positions within the Unification Church of the United States. Founded in the 1980s, it has been active in protesting what it considers to be threats to religious freedom by governmental agencies. International Federation for Victory over Communism 
Korean Culture and Freedom Foundation, a non-profit organization which in the 1970s staged a public diplomacy campaign in the United States for South Korea when it was founded in 1964. Former U.S. Presidents Harry S. Truman and Dwight D. Eisenhower were named as honorary presidents and former Vice President Richard Nixon then practicing corporate law was named as a director. National Committee Against Religious Bigotry and Racism National Prayer and Fast Committee, which supported President Richard Nixon during the Watergate scandal. Radio Free Asia Topic. Businesses Members of the unification movement own a number of businesses in various countries. In Eastern Europe unification movement missionaries are using the church's business ties to win new converts. David Bromley, a sociologist at Virginia Commonwealth University, said, "...the corporate section is understood to be the engine that funds the mission of the church. The wealth base is fairly substantial. But if you were to compare it to the LDS Church or the Catholic Church or other churches that have massive landholdings, this doesn't look on a global scale like a massive operation." Automotive. <inaudible> <inaudible> Pyongwa Motors is an automobile manufacturer based in Seoul, South Korea, and owned by the movement. It is involved in a joint venture with the North Korean Ryanbong General Corp. The joint venture produces two small cars under license from Fiat, and a pickup truck and an SUV using complete knockdown kits from Chinese manufacturer Dandong Shiguang. Pyongwa has the exclusive rights to car production, purchase, and sale of used cars in North Korea. However, most North Koreans are unable to afford a car. Because of the very small market for cars in the country, Pyongwa's output is reportedly very low. In 2003, only 314 cars were produced even though the factory had the facilities to produce up to 10,000 cars a year. Eric Van Ingen Chanau, author of the book Automobiles Made in North Korea, has estimated the company's total production in 2005 at not more than around 400 units. Topic. Health related Chongshim Hospital, Korean Hospital Ilwa Company, South Korean based producer of ginseng and related products Eastshin Hospital, church sponsored hospital in Japan which practices both modern and traditional Asian medicine Topic. Manufacturing in South Korea the Tongle Group was founded in 1963 by church founder Sun Myung Moon as a non-profit organization which would provide revenue for the church. Its core focus was manufacturing but in the 1970s and 1980s it expanded by founding or acquiring businesses in pharmaceuticals, tourism, and publishing. In the 1990s Tongle Group suffered as a result of the 1997 Asian financial crisis, by 2004 it was losing money and was $3.6 billion in debt. In 2005 Sunday Myung Moon's son, Cook Jin Moon was appointed chairman of Tongle Group. Among Tongle Group's chief holdings are, the ILWHA Company, which produces ginseng and related products, Ilshan Stone, Building Materials, and Tongle Heavy Industries, machine parts including hardware for the South Korean military. The Tongle Group funds the Tongle Foundation which supports unification church projects including schools and the Little Angels Children's Folk Ballet of Korea. Topic. Media. News World Communications, is an international news media corporation. It was founded in New York City, in 1976, by Sun Myung Moon. Its first two newspapers, The News World later renamed the New York City Tribune and the Spanish-language Noticias del Mundo, were published in New York from 1976 until the early 1990s. In 1982 the New York Times described News World as the newspaper unit of the Unification Church. Reverend Moon's son Yun Jin Moon is its chairman of the board. News World Communications owns United Press International, The World and I, Tiempos del Mundo Latin America, the Sega Ilbo South Korea, the Sakai Nippo Japan, the Zambezi Times South Africa, the Middle East Times Egypt. Until 2008 it published the Washington, D.C.-based news magazine Insight on the News. Until 2010, it owned the Washington Times. 
On November 2, 2010, Sun Myung Moon and a group of former Times editors purchased the paper from News World. American Life TV cable television network formerly owned by the Unification Movement. Topic: <laughs> Ocean related. Master Marine, a shipbuilding and fishing company in Alabama, International Seafood of Kodiak, Alaska, and True World Foods, which runs a major portion of the sushi trade in the USA. In 2011 Master Marine opened a factory in Las Vegas, Nevada to manufacture a 27-foot pleasure boat designed by Moon. <laughs> Real estate in the 1970s the Unification Church of the United States began making major real estate investments. Church buildings were purchased around the nation. In New York State the Belvedere Estate, the Unification Theological Seminary, and the New Yorker Hotel were purchased. The national headquarters of the church was established in New York City. In Washington, D.C. The church purchased a church building from the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, and in Seattle the historic Roland Denny Mansion for $175,000 in 1977. In 1991 Donald Trump criticized Unification Church real estate investments as possibly disruptive to communities. As of December 1994, Unification Church had invested $150 million in Uruguay. Members own the country's largest hotel, one of its leading banks, the second largest newspaper and two of the largest printing plants. In 2008 church-related real estate investment partnership USP Rockets LLC was active in Richmond, Virginia. In 2011 the church-related National Hospitality Corporation sold the Sheraton National Hotel. U.S. Property Development Corporation, Real Estate Investment Pyongyang Resort, which hosted the Alpine skiing events for the 2018 Winter Olympics and Paralympics. Topic: <laughs> United Nations-related non-governmental organizations. Since 2000, Moon has promoted the creation of an interreligious council at the United Nations as a check and balance to its political-only structure. Since then King Abdullah of Saudi Arabia and King Juan Carlos I of Spain hosted officially a program to promote the proposal. Moon's Universal Peace Federation is in special consultative status with the United Nations Economic and Social Council and a member of the UN Commission on Sustainable Development, a member of the United Nations Division for Palestinian Rights, a member of the United Nations Human Rights Council, a member of the UNHRC, a member of the United Nations Department of Economic and Social Affairs and United Nations Economic and Social Commission for Asia and the Pacific. Three of Moon's non-governmental organizations NGOs, Universal Peace Federation, Women's Federation for World Peace and Service for Peace, are in consultative status with the United Nations Economic and Social Council. Topic: Other organizations. International Relief Friendship Foundation (IRFF). Joshua House Children's Center in Georgetown, Guyana helps homeless and victimized children. Korean War 60th Anniversary Memorial Committee National Committee Against Religious Bigotry and Racism The New Hope East Garden Project, Agricultural Project in Brazil. Ocean Church Service for Peace Summit Council for World Peace Tongle Foundation World Media Association, sponsors trips for American journalists to Asian countries. Topic. Organizations supported by members of the unification movement American Conference on Religious Movements, a Rockville, Maryland-based group that fights discrimination against new religions. The group is funded by the Church of Scientology, the Hare Krishna Organization, as well as by Unificationists, who give it $3,000 a month. American Freedom Coalition AFC, a group which seeks to unite American conservatives on the state level to work toward common goals. The coalition, while independent, receives support from the unification movement. American Freedom Journal was a publication of the AFC published by Rev. Robert Grant. The journal was started in 1988 and suspended publication sometime before 1994. 
Contributors included Pat Buchanan, Ed Meese, Ben Wattenberg, and Jean Kirkpatrick. Christian Heritage Foundation, a private, independent charitable foundation based in Virginia that distributes Bibles and Christian literature to communist and third world nations. In 1995, it was given $3.5 million by the Women's Federation for World Peace. Empowerment Network, a pro faith political action group supported by United States Senator Joe Lieberman. Foundation for Religious Freedom also known as the New Cult Awareness Network. An organization affiliated with the Church of Scientology which states its purpose is educating the public as to religious rights, freedoms and responsibilities, George Bush Presidential Library. In June 2006 the Houston Chronicle reported that in 2004 Moon's Washington Times Foundation gave a $1 million donation to the George Bush Presidential Library. Liberty University. Sun Myung Moon and his wife Hak Ya Han helped to financially stabilize the university through two organizations, News World Communications, which provided a $400,000 loan to the university at 6% interest, and the Women's Federation for World Peace, which indirectly contributed $3.5 million toward the school's debt. Married Priests Now, is an advocacy group headed by Archbishop Emmanuel Malingo, who was himself married by Moon. MPN is a liberal Catholic organization calling for relaxing the rules concerning marriage in the Latin Rite Catholic priesthood. Million Family March, 2000 rally in Washington, D.C. sponsored by the FFWPU and the Nation of Islam. National Conservative Political Action Committee NCPAC, was given $500,000 by CAUSA International to finance an anti-communist lobbying campaign. University of Bridgeport of Bridgeport, Connecticut. In 1992, following the longest faculty strike in United States academic history, the University of Bridgeport agreed to an arrangement with the Professor's World Peace Academy whereby the university would be subsidized by PWPA in exchange for control of the university. The initial agreement was for $50 million, and a majority of board members were to be PWPA members. The next University of Bridgeport president was PWPA president and Holocaust theologian Richard L. Rubenstein from 1995 to 1999, and subsequently former USHSA UWC president Neil Albert Salonen 2000 -present. World Association of Non-Governmental Organizations Wango topic See also List of Unification Movement People Unification Church of the United States Mooney nickname topic References topic Annotated Bibliography Sontag, Frederick, 1977. Sun Myung Moon and the Unification Church, Abingdon Press. ISBN 0-687-40622-6 Bryant, M. Darrell, and Herbert Warren Richardson, 1978. A Time for Consideration, A Scholarly Appraisal of the Unification Church. New York, E. Mellon Press. ISBN 978-0-88946-954-9 Tingle, D. and Fordyce, R. 1979, Phases and Faces of the Moon, A Critical Examination of the Unification Church and Its Principles, Hicksville, N.Y., Exposition Press ISBN 0-682-49264-7 Kim, Young O.O.N., 1980, Unification Theology, Barrytown, N.Y., Unification Theological Seminary, Library of Congress Congress cataloging number 8052872 Machak, Sebastian, Unificationism, A New Philosophy and World View Philosophical Questions Series, number 11, 1982, New York, Louvain. Barker, Eileen, The Making of a Mooney, Choice or Brainwashing, 1984, Blackwells, Oxford, UK ISBN 0-631-13246-5. Bjornsted, James, 1984. Sun Myung and the Unification Church, Rev. ed. Minneapolis, Minnesota, Bethany House Publishers. 57 p. N.B., Rev. ed. of The Moon is Not the Sun, which had been published in 1976. ISBN 0-87123-301-0 Durst, Mose, 1984. To Bigotry, No Sanction, Rev. Sun Myung Moon and the Unification Church. Chicago, Regnery Gateway. ISBN 978-0-89526-609-5 Bromley, David G. September 1985. Financing the Millennium, The Economic Structure of the Unificationist Movement. Journal for the Scientific Study of Religion, Volume 24, No. 3 Sep. 1985, pp. 
Blackwell Publishing on behalf of Society for the Scientific Study of Religion, 24 253–274. JSTOR 1385816. Fichter, Joseph Henry, 1985. The Holy Family of Father Moon. Kansas City, Missouri, Levin Press. ISBN 978-0-934134-13-2 Gullery, Jonathan, 1986. The Path of a Pioneer, The Early Days of Reverend Sun Myung Moon and the Unification Church. New York, HSA Publications. ISBN 978-0-910621-50-2 Biermans, J. 1986, The Odyssey of New Religious Movements, Persecution, Struggle, Legitimation, A Case Study of the Unification Church Lewiston, New York and Queenston, Ontario, The Edwin Melton Press ISBN 0-88946-710-2 Sherwood, Carlton, 1991. Inquisition, The Persecution and Prosecution of the Reverend Sun Myung Moon. Washington, D.C., Regnery Gateway. ISBN 978-0-89526-532-6 Chrysides, George D., The Advent of Sun Myung Moon, The Origins, Beliefs and Practices of the Unification Church 1991, London, Macmillan Professional and Academic Limited. The author is Professor of Religious Studies at the University of Wolverhampton, United Kingdom. Yamamoto, J. E. Samu, 1995, Unification Church, Grand Rapids, Michigan, Zondervan ISBN 0 310 70381 6. Hong, Nansuk, In the Shadow of the Moons, My Life in the Reverend Sun Myung Moon's Family. Little Brown and Company, ISBN 0 316 34816 3, August 1998. Intravene, M. 2000, The Unification Church, Signature Books, ISBN 1-56085-145-7 Ward, Thomas J. 2006, March to Moscow, The Role of the Reverend Sun Myung Moon in the Collapse of Communism. St. Paul, Min, Paragon House. ISBN 978-1-885118-16-5 Hickey, Patrick 2009, Tahoe Boy, A Journey Back Home. John, Maryland, Seven Locks Press. ISBN 0-9822293-6-4 ISBN 978-0982229361 Moon, Sun Myung, 2009, As a Peace-Loving Global Citizen. Gim Young Publishers ISBN 0-7166-0299-7 External links Quotations related to Unification Church at Wikiquote Quotations related to Divine Principle at Wikiquote UPF Website Projects and Activities Founded by Unificationists Nearly all of these founded by Sun Myung Moon or affiliated with him, Reverend Moon Website Unification Church, Article on RightWeb Family Federation for World Peace and Unification Official International Website, English Language Language version Family Federation for World Peace and Unification USA Official Website Biography of Sun Myung Moon Unification Church Profile of the UC at ReligionFacts.com Exposition of the Divine Principle, HSA UWC, 1996 ISBN 0-910621-80-2 Unification Church Views of Homosexuality Philosophy of Science Article in Unification Church Sponsored Encyclopedia Service for Peace website Official site of the ICUS ICUS Publications Official site of WFWP International